Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah. hey. Hey, hey, hey. Dude, I'm actually really excited about the first thing we're drinking today. Okay. Like, and it's a gift from Kat and Shane. Oh. The Titans. So. Daniel in the distance, you hear that? Yeah, this is the one where we ran out of the budget to get crazy enough. The good one. We ran out of an effects budget. What do we do? New distillery on Isle of Skye. No longer is it just Talisker. Okay. It's now Torbeg. Tor, okay. Torbeg. Tora, Tora or Torb? Torbeg? Torbeg. Torbeg. I don't Torb, Torb, know. Torbeg. No. Torbeg. I mean, Little. I looked it up a couple of different people. I heard a couple of different pronunciations. Right. Who knows? Shaped by <laughs> sky. Now, Isle of Skye, right? Yeah. Now, we know Talisker is this beautiful chameleon of a briny, Mm -hmm. Peaty whiskey that just changes based on. Did you look at that? Oh, you got some mist in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a so, very, very humid day. It is. So I'm not sure what that would be all about. Anyway, no coloring or filtration or anything like that. Looks very, very light. 2017, this was distilled. Mm -hmm. So it can't be any older than, you know, four years old ish. Yeah. So it's going to be young. Okay. But. First fill bourbon barrels. This is how much detail they gave us. They told us what barley they used. Oh. Concerto malted barley with an ingrain phenolic content of 55 to 60. Then they used Pinnacle MG plus yeast, only put into used bourbon barrels. Yeah. And the phenolic level of the whiskey itself is 16 ppm. That's Pete's parts per- Parts per million. Per and, uh, millionaire. Yeah, and uh, no coloring, no filtration. This is, oh, let me put it this way. Um, this is not an, because uh, a lot of these whiskeys, it's obviously Speyside, it's obviously Isla. Right. It's obviously this or that. Um, this is not an obvious. Anything. No. I mean, it's definitely got some. It's smoke. got peat, it's got some peat in there, but it's not heavy handed with it. And the presentation of that smoky bit it's not your stereotypical savory ham, no. campfire, briny. It's there's peat, but it's a different angle on the peat. Strangely, this reminds me of the lighter direction of peat that Talisker presents. Mm. It didn't smell like Talisker, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to get Talisker to compare. I think I'm getting a combination of, you know what? This is like I'm, I'm in a very mushroom dense forest and a quarter mile away there's somebody making a barbecue yeah i'm also getting honey and vanilla cream the wind is carrying behind all of that a distant barbecue some like foresty but earthy, not like mushroomy. overly heavy mushroom mushroom like no. solid mushrooms yeah like like the button like the button like the well, button. oh that's like in, a, in thai food Wow, it smells really interesting. I was waiting for it to be like super malt young. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it definitely smells vibrant and I think malty, but this is squarely scotch. But oh, yeah. I think they're doing, if, if this is what they're going for, I think they're doing a really interesting job of making sure that it feels like it's its own thing and not trying to emulate another oh. brand, another distillery. 
Try that. I'm still on the nose. We pretty much reviewed everything. We haven't even tasted the damn thing yet. Mmm. Something went uh, changed there. It started briny and then went super sweet, condensed oils. Can I double down on my button mushroom? Yeah. Do it. I'm doubling. No one's stopping you. On the button mushroom. You know those like uncooked, very common mushrooms you get in the button mushrooms on salads and stuff. There's that. Mm. Then there there's a brininess. There's like a salty quality to it. And then there's like a light fruit honeysuckle, not quite peaches. But definitely vanilla cream. Wow, I really like that. Yeah, and this is relatively young, you said? Yeah. Uh, to already have that much flavor at that young of an age. Right. Yeah, and what did you say the proof was? 46. 46. Or, I mean, you know, Damn. 82. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to no, try. 92. I'm going to try and remember the name. Because I very much want to see what happens as, it gets, as it gets older and older. There was a little bit of a kerfuffle about this because this is the inaugural release. Okay. And there was a lot of whiskey nerds waiting for it. Yeah. And they only allocated like 3,000 bottles for the UK. They wow. sent the rest to the US, <gasps> which is why we can get it <laughs> uh, at like total wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but like a bunch of people in the UK never had a shot at it. Yeah. Yeah. They were all about the growth model. But to be fair, you, you guys have so many whiskeys, we'll never even see, we'll never even put eyes on the bottle. Yes. Yeah. This does not tip the scales in our favor. Right. This is throwing us a bone here. <laughs> it really is. Uh, uh, but it's a hell of a bone. I'm actually impressed. Yeah. I'm excited to see what they come out with in the future, what this develops into. I think the honey malt grain note is coming forward in the palate behind all of the obvious smoke and richness and earthy things. Yeah. The more I live with it, the more of the sweeter elements do start to take more and more of that center stage. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we got Uncle Mikey's World. Um, only seven minutes. What do you suggest I do with the rest of my coffee break? Please pad <laughs> them out to at least 13 minutes with comments, shenanigans, or pointless A-B comparisons. Yeah, I guess. Did we only have... A lot of we had a seven-minute video. Right. Uh, you know, a lot of people take their breaks. Right. And they watch the video. It's like, what the hell? And they're like, well... <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? You know what? There, I've been in a couple of situations where Daniel and I will go off on a tangent that's so irrelevant. <laughs> and so long. And so um, long and then also not really entertaining because we'll just start having a conversation about something that's not whiskey. It'd be like some inside baseball like business bullshit. And we realize we'll spend half the episode shooting that. And then our internal clock is way off in terms of what we have recorded for an episode. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll look at the clock for all three and it's like so, 45 minutes. So far, well, yeah, so but, far we're about seven and a half minutes. We gotta pad this, Daniel. We gotta pad it. Give you an irrelevant A B comparison. Oh, a Talisker, that's relevant. Yeah. Talisker 10. Totally different. Almost a vegetal note on the palate. Of Talisker? Mm hmm. Taste it. Okay. Taste so it. I'm still on the nose on the Talisker. Think like, you know how you get like a sweet glazed sauce when you do like a roasted vegetable? So, like, think Brussels sprouts. Yes. So I'm on the nose, I'm getting like a multi sweet floral. Mm -hmm. So I'm going on the taste now. Yeah. See what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah. Sweetened vegetal. Yeah. Totally different palate, totally yeah. different whiskey. Nose is familial, like. But the, veg the vegetal note, that swells up right at the beginning and then it fades off. Mm -hmm. it fades off very quickly. And it leaves you with. What does it leave you with? What does it leave you with? Wow, there's not a lot on the finish of the talent skirt. Pepper. There's black pepper at the end. Big old multi sweetness on the front end. Mm -hmm. This is going to be your sweeter whiskey for sure. Yeah, and uh, I prefer it obviously. It, but this is punching way above its young weight. Yeah. 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 SM <laughs> Esum SM909. I like these guys. They're idiots. <laughs> I just I put that in there. I like these guys. They're idiots. <laughs> we have a wheelhouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like the, uh, what are the two dudes in, oh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Are dead. Are dead. That's a deep cut. That's a great movie. That's, a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many, in the comments, how many of you have seen this movie or even know who Real, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are from? Yeah. Well, they do die. They do They're die. the sacrificial lambs in, what is it, Hamlet? No, no they didn't. All right. Forget the comments. Sorry about it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> Just think about what you did. Ow, I am. People had an opportunity to show off with your trivial knowledge. I mean, of blew it. <laughs> Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. 
<laughs> They've been waiting for this moment. Dude. They studied it in college as a minor. Right. And this is it. It's finally happening. Ah, oh, you oh, gave it away. Now it's obvious. Uh, uh, between the two, what are you reaching for? Talisker 10. Yeah, like... So, but I would pour this for people gladly being like, you've got to check this out. Right. New distillery in Sky. Okay. And I wouldn't feel ashamed about it. I wouldn't feel like they need to preface it with, hey, d don't worry, they're young, but they've got promise. I would say this is a good whiskey. It's very important. That you finish them all? Is that what's very important? I'm going. For really? The, yeah, the Torah. Yeah. Torah bag. The, like, this is lovely. This is very nice. The thing that set it apart, even though this is a little bit noticeably younger on the Torah bag, the finish on the Talisker just evaporates too quickly. Really? It leaves me hanging a little bit too much. I don't, I don't feel like it leaves and me hanging. I think it leaves, it leaves me hanging a little bit too much. And I like what this is doing from beginning to end. I like what this is doing from beginning to halfway, but right at the end, it's like, where'd you go? So you love the, the phenolic notes that are lingering is what's yes. holding on to you. For yes, this. yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, but they're both like, uh, I think, worthy of a neat pour. What a great addition to, an, to another whiskey distillery. Agreed, idiot. Here's <laughs> to buy me stealing and drinking. <laughs> Fellow idiot. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your liver's And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.